the Little Snowy uh, Snow Cone Maker. I have been using this for about two months or so, and it does a pretty good job. Now, it's for home use, but they have different models if you wanted to get more crazy with making snow cones. The good thing about it, too, that it's not just a snow cone maker. You could also make great drinks like margaritas, you know, if you just like really nice ice uh, for your Cokes or whatever, your fruit juices. It makes a really nice ice. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, pretty much, you just get a cup of ice. And let me just put the camera down. This lid, well, hold on, let me first show you this. This lid just opens up. You put the ice in there. And then you put the cup up here. And this is a little splash guard so the ice doesn't fly behind the cup. You know, it kind of wraps around the cup and you hold it like that. Uh, let me just show you how it is. Alright, let's get it right there. Pour the ice in here. Shutting. Uh, there's a uh, handle on the other, or a power button on the other side. Uh, right there. And how I have, see how I have it, the plastic thing kind of behind the cup. This top part will fill with, with ice. Let me get this right back here. kind of push it up into the base and usually there we go nice ice and you have your liquids this is watermelon they sell these things like at Target they sell them on the internet uh, they sell them different companies they sell them everywhere you could also get sugar free you could also get you know whatever you want you can put Kool-Aid in it a little watermelon in there now the calories for these things usually range from 30 to 20 calories per, and the serving size is two tablespoons. So it could get kind of dangerous if you go crazy with it. Um, but yeah, delicious. Now the negative things I didn't like about it, um, by the way, they also sell these at Target, which are like rubber snow cone cups. They're washable. I usually just use a cup, but they're fun for parties. Negative parts I don't like about it is sometimes you'll have really hard old ice. And so when you put it in, like, if the ice is, like, really old, I've noticed that uh, the, it, it jams the, the grinder. So you usually have to take, like, you know, something and stir it up a little. It usually doesn't happen too bad. The other thing is it does still find ways to come out. So you, I, I always put like a little napkin down here, especially when it melts and there's, you know, there's still snow. By the way, it's just like snow. That's what it feels like. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you know a little leaking action will come here. You know, nothing, a paper towel won't help. Other than that though, cleaning's easy. That's how you clean it, because it's just water. All right. This is Brian with RedBand.com. Let's find Jesus on YouTube. You can find all my tech reviews at Dugged, D-U-G-G-E-D. Uh, ah, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you want to see this product, I got it at Amazon. And you can click below or up above or wherever it is for the links. Thanks for watching, guys. And that, again, is the little snowy machine. Ah, oh, it's a baby. I think it's worth it, and I recommend it.